Hi, Doug, Neil, and Raquel. We are just looking to get some feedback from you on what our, we're currently working on, um, which is called technical benchmarking. If you have the time for it, it shouldn't take long, and I'm just going to explain as quickly as I can what's going on here. This is all about deciding what things are most important about the, about the mouth guard. And there's two things that we're looking at here. The first group of things is called critical to customer. Those are things that are more qualitative, um, things that aren't easily measurable, say comfortable. Um, would be difficult to measure with a number. So they go they go there in under CTC. Um, the other things are design specifications or CTQ, which refers to critical to quality. And these are things that could be measured more easily, like volume, something like millimeters cubed, um, and could put a number to them. So what we've done after deciding which things are most important to put in these two areas is start assigning some numbers to them. If you think there's something in either of these areas that we missed and should be there, we would be happy to uh, change that out. That's, that's Give us feedback on that too if you think of anything that should be crossed out and something else added. Um, so what we've done is then pick the top three customers or um, stakeholders rather that will be interested in what's going on here and given them relative weights of how important they are in making the decision and then going down each of these columns we say a five because for protective athletes with braces think that it's very important that their mouth guard is very protective. We're using a scale of one to five here. One being the most important and five being, or excuse me, one being the least important, five being most important. Um, and we're looking specifically for your feedback on this column for dental professionals and how important you think each of these things are. Um, to you. What's going on after this is not as important, so if you want to stop watching this video now, stop now, but I'll talk for just another minute or two on what's going on, if you're curious. Um, these scores are multiply, these scores are multiplied by these numbers, and the sum is put here in the priority score to give us which one of these is um, most important right now. It's protective. And then what's going on with all of these numbers over here is we're looking at how important the distribution, for example, how important is the distribution of forces to protection? And that's a five. But how important is the color to protection? That's like not important at all. So that's that's a one. And again, what happens over here is this priority score gets multiplied by this number and then the, everything is summed up down here. So this multiplied by this, add it up down to get these, how important each of these design specifications is. Right now we're showing material as our most important um, and this is an iterative process so we're going to be discussing changes to these rankings um, because, for instance, we think that the distribution of forces is very important, um, but it didn't come out that way, the way we rank things, so we may need to make some changes. So go ahead and feel, give any comments you'd like in this area um, as well if, if you want, but that's, that's mostly for us to think about more. Like I said, we're, we're looking for your opinion on this column primarily, how do these apply, and also if there's anything that you think should be in this list or in this list that isn't there, um, we can add that and remove something or just make the list longer. So we appreciate your feedback on that and we look forward to working with you more. Talk to you later.